Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, back to fishing in Massachusetts. Uh, fantastic week in Alaska. Uh, lots of halibut, king salmon, stuff like that. Really great time. Um, so, back to actually, we're back in New England. Sorry, not Massachusetts. But uh, yeah, today's gonna be a fluke trip. Uh, and with any luck, also gonna see some bonito kicking around. Uh, I'm not fishing exactly where I wanna be. I'm stopping short on some semi-productive fluke ground. Just in the, uh, I like think the, these bones have been kind of sticking it close to shore. So I haven't made the run quite out to where I uh, wanna fish, but definitely want to keep an eye out make sure that if the bones pop up I get a shot at them you know at least for the first hour or two if I you know if it's not really working out then hey that's gonna be it is what it is you know these fish will dictate whether or not I'm gonna hang around in shore <clears throat> but yeah uh, went through all the uh, electronics in the kayak here not the fish finder but the as far as the motor went uh, just did not have a repeat of last trip that was uh, miserable it was not a good time uh, looks like I'm gonna have a fairly decent drift here today too, so I might not even need to use the motor on the drift. Just use that on setbacks. And, uh, I apologize if the first, you know, few videos are uh, my head spinning around quite a bit, and not really focusing on the rod uh, while I'm fishing, just because these bones can pop up anywhere, and if they do pop up, I want to make sure I get on them quick and uh, try to follow the school or the bait. Anyways, they're on. Get my shot at them. Uh, here in a few turns, squawking around, so we'll see what happens here, guys. Uh, that's it. Gonna get to it. Hope you guys enjoy this one, and I hope it's a decent day where the motor doesn't crap out on me. So we'll see what happens with that. All right, let's catch them up. Waiting. That's interesting. I, uh, I honestly, I can't say I've ever caught a whiting. It's, it's, uh, they call them silver hake as well. Uh, from my kayak before, they got a big black mouth. Great beef fish, and uh, tuna fish love these things. Uh, but uh, on that offshore trip there, uh, with that tuna, I think them and sand deals were the bait out there. There, there, there. Okay, I guess I have to. I gotta get in there. All right, guys, I'm heading in uh, to check out some birds that are working over here. I think the bones are inside of me. Uh, I'm gonna be throwing a little uh, Exo jig, my tsunami. Uh, Evict 2000 on a carbon shield 2 at them. Uh, let's see if it works out. There's a lot of kayaks in here. I really don't like going joining the group, but it's just too many birds working for me to ignore, especially when I'm looking for bones. So, yeah, let's see what happens here. There they are right in front of me. Guy doesn't even see him. Oh, tight. Is this going to be the target species? I think it is. Oh, it is. Bonito on the exo jig. Not a big one, but right species. I'm all wrapped up there on the line here.
There we go, first bone. There we go, it's a cute little fish. Not very big, but definitely the right idea in good eats. Yeah. That spit up a peanut bunker. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, oh, right in front of you, yep. <laughs> Man, that could have been perfect. We both cast on either side of the ball and nothing. Uh, exo jig. Ah, uh, dude, I Albies, it's all use. Of course, just enough to keep us here. Oh, I'm gonna go right through it. I'm going right through it right now. Come on, get tight. Oh, I'm tight. Sorry, buddy. I'm trying not to screw you up here. No, you're good, dude. You're good. It's in front of me now. Catch him. That was just luck, dude. I overcasted that so bad. Oh, it's so nice hearing those tail beats. I think they're a cool fish, man. I just wish they were like, not Chub Max. Yeah. <laughs> like, you catch one and you're like, oh, that's cool. That's. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm not fly fish for mackerel, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm not desperate. Hey, speaking of Chub Max, dude, those are Chubs. I think so. That's the biggest Chub mackerel I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, this is a big mackerel, dude. I think this is bigger than my bone. I mean, there's, there's a ton of meat on them if you're into... Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I mean, these would be, dude, tuna, tuna candy. Mind you. Usually you see them do that 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 wave, you know. Yeah, it was blind cast. I think it's a mac. It's hard telling. Could be a bone. Who knows? They're all the same size. That's ah, a big mac. It's bigger than the last one. Oh, you tight? Right kind? They're almost worth catching. Nice, dude. I think this one's gonna be uh, the right kind. Come on. This 
until I get the confirmed identity on this thing. Oh, don't slack up. <sighs> yeah, this one's a bone. There we go. Yeah, it's like a two pounder. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to get my fingers bit on this thing. That's not a bad one. Right kind. Yeah. But they'll stop producing after the spring. I gotta move them out of It's a, it's a, it's a, dude, it's just a Mac, but it's funny because I was like on my leader and it hit it dead sticked. That's awesome. I say, you can, if you come up my way, dude, they're like a dime a dozen though on Facebook Marketplace, like new traps. Yeah, they're dude, they're great traps, but they're pricey. Yeah, just dude, just come up to like, just take a drive up to like the South Shore, like Situate or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I might do uh, with with your truck and just load your truck full. You can usually find it for like ten bucks or like fifteen bucks a trap. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this stuff's expensive, dude. They make great stuff. It's not to take away from their product. Their product's great. Yeah. All right, guys, good luck. I'll probably see you out there somewhere. I don't know how far you guys are going out, but. <laughs> All right, the uh, rig is gonna be the high-low uh, gulp teaser with a squid strip over a squid tail, bucktail, with a uh, little bit of gulp on it and a fluke belly strip. Or, no, that's, a, that's the back of it, but it's just that little piece that you, uh, that's waist on a fillet. Uh, rod is going to be the uh, Crafty One Ocean Custom, and it's going to have the uh, Quantum Accurate on it. 15 pound braid to a 15 pound liter. This might be 20 actually. But yeah, that's it. Simple stuff. Nothing really different. Uh, just hopefully these fluke react here. We got a really good drift now. I'm fishing very deep water, so let's see what happens here. Oh, it's a fluke. Yes. I couldn't tell you how big it is. It's coming up pretty easy. But it's definitely a fluke. Uh, little, little one. I was happy to see one of these. Come on. This one hit it on the drop back. It's been caught before, it looks like. Eh, not a keeper, but uh, it's only the second fluke of the day. And granted, I had you know some other fish to contend with here, but uh, sixty-five feet deep. This might be a dogfish or something. Is that a fluke head shake? Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, it is a fluke. Man, 
Man. Not a keeper, but nice fish. Probably in the 17 inch range. But I was marking bait on the bottom. He was in the bait, so yeah, 17 and a quarter. A lot of bait down there. This should be good. If this, they should be fluking this mix on the outside of this. Oh, oh no! I just broke off. Uh, Mark, I just broke off. It would have been, would have been, would have been nine, except. Uh the mean little male in one of the pods uh, killed its counterpart and started eating it. Savage. Cut. <laughs> yeah, that's a fluke. Jeez. I'm having to work for these today. Not a keeper. Another 17 or so. But it's the right idea. Finding more life here inside. Well, the bait is than in the deeper water where I thought the fish would be, but. Who knows? This late, late summer fluking is pretty tough. There we go, that's a real fluke. Oh, not even. 17 incher. Just, I mean, right idea though. More life here tight to the rocks, but kind of a dangerous spot to be. Eh. It's a freebie for the dog right there. Cheapy, but oh, fumble. Hey, you know what? Dog's gonna love this. Cool. Yeah, it's a fluke. Not a very. Joe and I are heading in. Not a very big one. That's nice. This is the way again. Though I love it on the jig. Uh, I'm sorry, buddy. back for it. Come back. That was a really strong hit. Got it that time. Yeah, that's a nice fluke. Oh, it's a fluke. I got a heavy jig on there, so everything feels a lot bigger than it really is. But I can tell you it's a fluke. On the jig. Closer. It's not a keeper, but it's like an 18. Um, definitely, definitely got a little bit of a bite going here, which is nice. And this drift, I think I've caught three fluke, and 
I just started it. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna end up in the rocks. If I'm not mistaken with this drift, but uh, it's good to know that these fluker really hang just tight to structure. I seem to miss where all my bites are coming from. Hey, I just dropped it onto this fish's head. Really wasn't even ready to set the hook onto it. Well, double header sea bass, but that bottom one's gonna stay. If I can get it in the boat. There we go. All right, let's get this little one back. Really quick, double header. Uh, the spawn is over, so I'm not overly concerned. Oh, it's a male anyways. It's sperm coming out of it. Looks like a female, but it's got sperm. So if it makes it, it makes it. 16 and a half inches on these things. 16 and one half. Oh, yeah. The mouth open at 17 and a half, so this one makes the grade. I allowed two of these. Huh. Yeah. It's got enough of a flay on it. Ooh. That's a fluke. Oh, I want to venture to say that this one's probably going to be a keeper. Somebody almost snapped something on the hook set. Hmm. We haven't had anything close to keeping today, so... We'll put them in the net and... Yeah, see, the hook came right out. I don't know if he's gonna stay or not. He's gonna be close. No, oh, he's gonna be short. This is gonna be like an 18 and a half, I think. Yeah. Let's see. I pinched the tail. 18 and a half. No. Sometimes you get the eye for it, but. That was the best bite of the day, so that was worth nothing. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap. Uh, not an awful day, not a great day. Um, definitely the pelagics were the star of the show today. Um, the chub mackerel were huge. It was pretty much the biggest ones I've ever seen. And uh, I got myself a pair of Benito that were okay sized. Um, they weren't the tiny little ones that we've been seeing in the last few years, so... Uh, they were enough to pull some drag on the rod, uh, so it's nice to see some hardtails kicking around. Uh, what else we have today? Uh, biggest fluke went like 18 and a half inches, just couldn't quite squeeze out one over 19. We're getting late in the year. I mean, it's already it's already August. Uh, this is typical for summertime fluking in the area; it just kind of dries up. Uh, I'm sure if I was like offshore at the windmills or something like that off Block Island, I mean, I, or the shoals, yeah, I'd be doing good. But inside here, it's just it tends to dry up. Um, not to say that I haven't caught some of my biggest fluke ever during the middle of the summer. I have. That's, you know, got a handful of eight pounders in the middle of the summer in years past. But uh, this year, just haven't got many trips out, so uh, it hasn't happened yet. Certainly would love to see a nice eight or nine pound fluke. I'd love to break double digits. I haven't done that yet. So uh, let's see. Got some sea robins. Uh, caught that whiting in the beginning of the trip. That was pretty cool. I think that's the first one I ever caught on a kayak. Got plenty of offshore fishing, but uh, that was pretty neat. Uh, it's a couple of scup, you know, um, and some sea bass, you know. It, it was action. Uh, I should have stuck with those Benito in the morning and then tried to fluke in the afternoon. I would have probably had more fish in the boat. But 
it is what it is, you know. Hindsight's always 2020. But uh, I mean, I still had a great time out here. I mean, the weather's beautiful. It's actually a little too hot to be fishing right now. It's it's hot. Um, my <laughs> my motor lasted the entire trip. No hiccups, no nothing. So I think whatever issue I had, I must have remedied it uh, when I checked all the connections. And uh, even the fish finder was touch and go. You know, sometimes it was working the way it's supposed to. Sometimes it wasn't. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to fix that. But uh, but that's it. Uh, Benito went down and everything else went down and it is what it is had a great time though and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it if you liked it just you know hit that like button and uh subscribe to the channel it helps me out a lot uh but yeah if you guys have any questions about the gear i use it's all in the description and if you have any questions for me just let me know in the comments and uh like i said i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you next time